Gun Yu Trips has, over the last couple of years, consistently been one of the best offenses, and Madden 22 is no different. Now, I get it, I also thought that Yu Trips was a very difficult formation to learn, because not a lot of people were running it. But, this year it's very simple, there are a lot of mechanics that you can use, which I'll get to in this video, that really give you a head start and make it easy to start learning this very powerful offense. If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe to the channel, it would help me out a lot, and let's get into it. I am currently using Randall Cunningham with Hot Rod Master, Pass Lead Elite, and Escape Artist. In my opinion, the 18 AP spent on my quarterback are totally worth it. Now, of course, the major part of that AP is going towards Escape Artist. It is the best ability in the game. I'm going to show you how to abuse it right now. Practice this is going to the practice mode with a quarterback that has Escape Artist. My recommendation would be Russell Wilson because I'm a Hawks fan. I know I'm devastated that he left the Seahawks, but that's a topic for another day. For this to work, you need to double team the guy that is the from the outside rusher, one inside to the side that you want to roll out to. So if I want to roll out to the left, then I'm going to double team the defensive tackle on the left to make sure that the guy from the outside comes in clean. I'm going to snap the ball and right as soon as I see the guy coming across the edge, I'm going to roll back away from him and roll outside of him. If you have a fast enough quarterback with the speed boost you get from escape artist, you're gonna do that easily every single time and then you can look to make a read. This really all just comes down to practice. So just go into practice mode and try it as much as you can until you get good at it. And once you get good at it, it's gonna be really difficult to stop. This is something you can use in pretty much every single one of these plays I'm gonna show you. As the audibles for you trips, I recommend running curve flats, great play, 5-6 trap, it's the best round of this formation and it actually is kind of decent. Y option wheel and tight end whip. Now, if you're not sure what to call, call Pat's Y out. That is just so you have five plays at your disposal at the line of scrimmage. Now, if you want to call a different play, say PA fork, that's fine. Just come on in PA fork. But I highly recommend having those four plays in your audibles because they give you the greatest amount of flexibility. Let's now go into how to beat every single coverage. Starting with cover three, one of the most popular defenses every year, but with this play, it's worthless against you. Pat's Y out, you just want to call that. And always, pretty much every single single play in this formation you want to call with the three wide receivers so the two wide receivers and the tight end I call it the tight end receiver uh, just to make it easier to the wide side so in this case with balls on the left hash then we want our trips to the right got that that's really important for you to understand then we are going to max protect we're going to put the wide receiver that is in the middle of the trips on a streak and corner out the single side wide receiver it's important that you have hot rod master for this or a slot apprentice then you're just going to need to buy time to throw the post once he clears the middle third and you have an easy one play score cover two is one of the easiest coverages to bomb i'm going to be honest with you you can run many plays but the preferred play that i run is pat's x curl once again you want to call it with the trips to the wide side and all you need to do for this to work is you need to put the outside wide receiver on the right in this case just the outside receiver on the trip side on a fade so then once you snap the ball against cover two zone you can either hit the uh, the tight end streaking down the middle of the field basically or hit the fade to the outside with a nice rack catch and pass lead to the outside if you want to make this even more effective you can do the escape artist list that i explained right at the beginning of the video to the right in this case so you can throw the fade with a better angle and it's just a e very very easy one play score against cover two this is an absolute nightmare to defend and you're gonna get a lot of touchdowns <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of touchdowns running it too against cover four it can be a little bit more complicated there are basically three types of cover fours that one draw attention to there's cover four drop cover four quarters and cover four palms now cover four drop plays just like we would expect it to because it's it's a drop coverage it's basically like a cover three but it has th four drop zones at the top and how you beat it is very simple you call the play pa fork and then you do these steps curl the solo side by receiver so the right receiver is on the side of the running back streak the wide right receiver that is in the middle of the trip so the middle wide receiver r1 on playstation and you want to smart route the guy that is on that kind of s post it's a really good route but you want to smart route it then you want to block your tight end and if you want to keep the play action that's fine but i would recommend blocking the running back then all you need to do is just buy time and once the s post uh, passes the safety that i have highlighted for you right here 
then you can throw it with a bullet pass and it's a touchdown very very simple if we want to beat cover four quarters for a one play touchdown it gets a little bit more complicated the play that we want to call is double unders we then want to streak the middle wide receiver of the trips as we've done many many times in this video so far we then want to put the outside wide receiver on the trips on an in route and then smart route it so it's kind of at that 10 15 yard range and we want to put our running back on the wheel now that's a very very crucial step don't forget that one then if we snap the ball and take a little bit of time you will see that the corner route from the tight end gets wide open so that's a very very nice throw that you can make against cover four quarters cover four palms is a little bit easier to beat all you need to do is come in the play tight and whip put the r1 receiver in the middle trips wide receiver again we see a pattern right here uh put him on a streak and then you see that the safety is just a little bit too slow to react to him and you have an easy one play score Man coverage can be a little bit pesky in this game, and I get that, but here are some tips. I recommend to run the play tight end whip as often as you can. You want to try to smart route the tight end zig route as often as possible. There's a great job against man coverage. Zigs in general, really, really good. Crossing routes from your wide receivers, really good. If you mainly put them on the field, that's fine too. Skinny posts that you can make with hot route master and outside wide receivers, also fine. It is important to just keep mixing it up and find ways of, of putting as many man beating routes on the field that also are difficult to guard with zone so you want to have some nice route combos of which i will share with you right now in the play tight and whip you can put the r1 receiver on the slant smart route the x route which is the tight end and you have a very very nice play against main coverage another thing that you can do then is put the outside receiver on the trips on a skinny post and you have about four Maybe five because this uh, post from a solo wide receiver is a little bit unpredictable sometimes. You have four to five man beating routes. The running back out route beats man, the slam beats man, the tight end route beats man, the skinny post beats man, and the uh, post from a solo uh, receiver can be a little bit more sketchy. When it comes to man coverage, it's just about testing out what works for you. You need to be able to make the reads consistently, and that's something that you just have to get used to with time. So, just play the game, someone runs man coverage. Don't be afraid to just mix it up because mixing it up makes it tough on your opponent. Don't tell anyone this, but I almost forgot to mention that PA4 crowd, like that double move, it's awesome. You should run it as often as possible. It beats man coverage about 90% of the time, 10% because Madden is fluky, but believe me, it's a really good route and I would really try to focus on it. After the different bombs against the coverages, let's now get into my base plays to move the ball down the field consistently. Base play number one is Pat's YL. All you need to do for this is you need to put your running back on a wheel block the tight end, streak the middle receiver of the trips, as we already known, that is a very consistent theme of this video, and putting the outside receiver off the trips on a drag. The wheel route to the running back is a great quick throw. It's difficult for the user to cover it if he's not, if he doesn't know that it's coming, and it's just a quick, nice, easy way to get a couple of yards. Then after that, you need to make your opponent decide between covering the post and the drag with the post, being able to, uh, to create great depth and get behind a lot of zone drops. My second base play is PF4 and for this we're using a kind of bunch setup, kind of a mesh post type of, type of deal. Hear me out. This is a very good play against cover 2. What we want is we want to put our solo wide receiver, the wide receiver that we use to create the nice and glitchy wheel routes, we want to put that guy on a corner route. Then we want to put a tight end on an out route and put the middle receiver of the trips on a slant. The final adjustment now is to make the S post smart routed so that it goes a little bit shorter and we motion snap R1 across the field just like I show right here. Snap the ball and you make the read between either the slant, the out route, or the deep bomb against cover two. Base play number three is Y option wheel. For this we have a lot of steps. The first one is just to block the tight end and for this I highly recommend doing the escape artist glitch because if we can get, get to the edge, we have a deep cross that we can throw and we can also scramble really, really easily. So you block the tight end. First read is to quick throw to the running back as fast as possible. It is really annoying. It can get easy yards and it just gets in your opponent's nerves. Then after that, if you were like, okay, we're going to take a shot. We're going to do the escape artist glitch, which is to ID uh, the second guy from the outside to the side that you want to roll out. So I explained it in the beginning of the video. Don't worry about it. You can click back to it and then scramble or throw the crosser. Really simple, really nice. The second base setup for Y option wheel is to put a tight end on a streak, put the middle trips wide receiver on a flat, the outside receiver on an in route, just as shown here. Motion snap to the other side, just like shown here. And then to make the read. The first read of the, uh, the first progression is to throw to the running back. Once again, that is something that you want to throw. 
make sure to throw it as often as possible it is best thrown with the low pass and since you have the flat there you can throw it a little more bit more down the field because it's a little more open we spread the zones out a little more and you can get some yards easier that way other than previously where that window is kind of closed if we don't have the flat there then it becomes once again very simple to make the read between the post and the in route make sure to be conservative and then once they jump down on the in route, you can look to hit the deeper crossing routes for a lot of yards. Pat's X curl, what we want to do is we want to create a corner route setup. We're going to fade circle and we're going to put R1, the middle trips wide receiver, on a corner route. Then we can do two things. We can either stay in the pocket and make the read uh, from the left to the right so we can look to hit our check down to the running back first. Or if we know that we want to scramble or throw the corner route, one of those two, uh, we can also do the escape artist glitch and then try to escape to the right both very valid whatever you prefer the last and final play i'll break down is the play curl flats i put my tiny on an out route and also put my ring back on an out route and i try to hit them as quickly as possible that's basically it if you wait for the play to develop a little bit sometimes the curls are open it's just important that you get that read down and don't get baited because the running back out route, believe me, it's still one of the best routes in the game. If you throw it quickly, you can get some steam going and get some momentum. And you'll just fall forward and you'll gain about 6 to 7 yards easy, easy with this play if they don't cover the running back. That just shows how truly powerful the running back out routes still are. When it comes to 5-6 trap, it's a run play. There's not too much to break down. It's important that you do not sprint behind the line of scrimmage because then your opponent just sheds like the defensive linemen they have a logic in the game where if you scramble behind the line of scrimmage they have an easier time shedding so you want to avoid that also it helps the blocking develop so be patient but if you are patient and you wait for that hole to get open uh it really is easy to get some yards and it might be one of the toughest runs in the game whenever i face it i have trouble with it i always give my opponents hell when i run it i don't run it that often because i like to pass but whenever i run they're annoyed and they quit the game pretty quickly too i hope you guys enjoyed that that was a pretty long video because wild trips pets u trips it's a very long formation as 24 plays that takes a while to explain now that's not all there is to u trips obviously there's so much more u trips it's one of the most complicated formations in the game and i thought so but with these plays you have a nice little start and then if you want to be a little bit more creative and you want to take the time to actually learn the formation a little more which i'm still currently doing like there's so much to learn there's so much fun stuff to try out i'm still in the progress of that i'm enjoying it very much i recommend you get on it as well if you do that you'll become a very powerful player in no time i hope you guys enjoyed this please subscribe to the channel if you haven't i'm going to be more active again because i'm home now I'm enjoying time, man. I'm enjoying life. Things have definitely turned for the better. Yeah, but I'm going to leave you guys be. I appreciate you guys checking in. It's been a while since I've last recorded the video. This was very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack a, th uh, smack a like on the video. I can't even do outros anymore. Uh, go t uh, type something nice in the comments. Or if you want to be mean, do that as well. I appreciate you guys very much. Till next time, peace out.